Hello and uh, welcome to the Unity introduction course. This video gives you a quick introduction to Unity. If you are an absolute beginner, I'm pretty sure it will be useful. If you know Unity already, then um, maybe this video would not teach you much, but actually it still might. When you first launch Unity, uh, you will see the projects tab active. You will be able to create new project. So let's do that. Let's um, hit new here and give our project a name. We hit create project and we are in Unity. Awesome. So first of all, probably this big window here is the most interesting for you. And you can try to click in it, click and drag. And then you notice that, okay, this is selection frame and you can select these things. This one obviously looks like a camera icon and this is uh, actually a light. This is directional light. After you click around uh, with the left mouse button, you can click with the middle mouse button. And then if you click and drag, you can uh, pan around. If you scroll down and up, it will be zoom in and zoom out. Right mouse button is to look around. Basically, you're just looking around and so that you still can orient where where is which side you have this axis here. So it's like X, Y and Z axis. So what do we see? We see a blue sky, we see horizon line and we see this gray ground with a grid. This is our 3D viewport, still suitable for 2D games as well. All you need to do is click on this 2D uh, icon after you do that all goes just into this space and then with right mouse button you can only pen same with middle mouse button you cannot look around anymore when you select anything in the viewport you will see information at the right this is your inspector and it will show you everything you need to see about the current uh, game object so for the camera you will see it has transform which is uh, position in 3d space so let's say we start changing x a little bit let's just type 5 and then our camera moves 5 and if you type minus 5 it moves to the right to change these fields you can type directly or you can click on the name of it like x here and click and drag and this way you can also operate on the axis so same for rotation and then same for same for scale but for camera scale doesn't matter this transform scale completely has no effect on camera at the top you will notice a menu and then if you hit game object 3d object and let's make a cube you need to create a nice white cube for you at the inspector you will see position and rotation we already know all this and now scale matters. By default, Unity will, will be creating um, a game object with uh, 0, 0, 0 at rotation and 1, 1, 1 at scale. Unity will actually try to position new game objects in the viewport so you can see it. So if I rotate around and then hit 3D object and press cube, Unity will create it here. If I move my camera away and then hit cube again then it will be in the middle this might be convenient but at the same time if you want your cubes or game objects to appear at zero position then you actually have to select it and then zero 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 all the position values all right so what do we know we can rotate around we can zoom and we can pan but obviously this is not enough if you have ever played any of the first-person shooter, shooter games, then you know that you can move around with uh, WASD. So if you right-click in this um, look-around mode and then you hit W, you will start moving forward. S will bring you back. AD is like a strafe. But on top of that, you can also hit Q to go down and E to go up. All your navigation controls are located in the convenient corner of the keyboard. So you can fly around and it's really fun and really cool and very convenient. So let's build a little street. Um, let's start with um, bringing 
plane. Let's position it to 0, 0, 0. Let's get rid of these two cubes. This is our hierarchy, by the way. This tab will uh, list all game objects you have in your scene. Your scene currently has no name, it's untitled. And you can see the same information at the top of the window. Okay, again, it's untitled, followed by the project name, awesome game, and then followed by the platform. Unity is a cross-platform game engine, so currently it is uh, PC, Mac and Linux, but it's actually super easy to switch. If you are going to develop games for PlayStation 4, or for Nintendo Wii U, or for iPhone, it will be easy to switch later.